We're in Santa Ana, California at the world headquarters of Pure Aqua, and we're preparing to ship a twin alternating activated carbon filter. Its primary function is to prepare feed water for reverse osmosis, and it's designed to filter at a rate of approximately 150 GPM. All of the valves are motorized, and they're controlled by a Siemens brand PLC. Uh, backwash is initiated by any number of ways, including pressure drop. Uh, it could be time. It could be even uh, chlorine levels in the, uh, in the filtrate as it's equipped with a chlorine analyzer. And then, uh, of course, the backwash. It has a separate backwash inlet. And it could be backwash with filtrate or, for that matter, uh, uh, feed water. Today is March 20th, and the, the uh, reason for this video is to advise on the media loading into these twin alternating activated carbon tank filters. Uh, it's going to be necessary to load one of these tanks dry, and one tank we can put some water in first. And I make that uh, distinction because inside these tanks, you have some PVC plumbing that is potent, could potentially be harmed by loading media uh, in from the top manway. The media uh, that we're going to put into the tanks initially is a gravel. There's a coarse grade, a medium grade, and a fine grade. And it should be loaded in that order, coarse, medium, and then fine. All the while, making certain we're not damaging the PVC plumbing internals, which we have some still pictures of and that you can take a look at. The manway is located at the top of the tank, and the media, the gravel, comes in uh, bags, 50 pounds each. So we suggest that you get a lift or a forklift and somehow uh, uh, reinforce it to where it's safe for a person to be on and put them at the level of the manway so that they can pour the media into the tanks. Uh, you may want another person that can witness the, the loading of the media into the dry tank because in the, uh, in the tank that's going to go into service initially, you're going to be able to fill with water up to a level that will cover the PVC plumbing at the bottom of the tank and, and offer some additional protection from the media loading. But in the tank that you're loading dry media into, someone will have to uh, keep an eye on the media that's being loaded and in some cases help disperse it and level it as we load the different grades of gravel.